Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Redshift for 3ds Max. It's a massive 13 hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Redshift for Max thoroughly. Make sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Also be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let's pick up the pace a bit and go for a wood parquet shader. Add a new Redshift material and assign it. Let's have a surface material as well in case we needed it. Load this wood parquet texture. As this is the diffuse color texture therefore a color input, set the color space to sRGB. Let's set it as the map input for the surface material and assign the surface material to see how it sits on the geometry. I'm going to set its tiling to around 0 0.75. Now assign the material again. Connect it to the diffuse color. Reflection weight, color and IOR can remain at the default state as we discussed for the plastic shader. Let's go for the reflection roughness immediately and load this wood parquet BW02. Change the color space to raw and scale to 0.75 like our diffuse color texture. Like the previous shader, I'm going to quickly invert the texture as this texture was created for glossiness workflow. Add a color invert node after it. Now add an output map after the invert node to be able to adjust the texture. Now connect this to the reflection roughness to see what we get. I'm just going to make the dark values a bit brighter by increasing the first point Y value to around 0.2. Next let's go for the bump. For the bump I want to use both the map that we used for reflection roughness and another complementary map. So add an RS bitmap node. And load this wood park ABW. Set its tiling to 0.75 and 0.75 like the previous maps. And its color space to raw. Check the ACES video if you don't know why I changed these color spaces. To combine the two maps, add a composite node. And set it as the map input for the surface material and assign the surface material to the shader ball. Connect the color invert node to the layer 1 input. And the second texture is layer 2 input. And in the composite node, set the mask value or opacity for layer 2 to around 80, so we can reveal the first layer a bit. Assign the redshift material again and connect the composite node to a bump map node. and bump map node to the bump input of the redshift material. And set the bump height scale to around 0 0.3. Let's add the general unevenness like the plastic shader. I'm just going to steal the noise map, its bump map, and the bump blender node from one of the plastic shaders. Connect the first bump map to the base input of the bump blender. And the noise bump is already connected to the layer 0 input of the bump blender node. And finally connect the bump blender node to the bump input of the redshift material. Let's add the coat finally. I'm going to set the coat weight to around 
we can adjust roughness depending on what we want, 0.1 is good here. And let's decrease the IOR to 1.2. Cool. Let me show you a higher resolution render for this shader too. Very nice. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.